It's another quiet day in rural Finland. The ritual has been complete, and drunk man returns back to the populace as if though nothing happened. But is everything as it once was? Status D and his slack-jawed partner continue to talk about the weather and smoke cigarettes. But in the background, something horrifying looms. With his handlebar mustache at the ready, this poor Finnish schlep is only one part of the horrors that have changed in the world thanks to the ritual. As this giant slowly moonwalks across Finland, the Finnish police decide that there is only one man capable of taking down such a beast. Ah, uh, few things in this life are as good as, uh, getting on the internet on AOL using Microsoft Windows 95 with your meat out. I always like to surf the internet with my meat out. I think I'm gonna grab something to drink over here as well. This way, oh, oh, hold on, the phone's ringing. Better go see what that is. Uh, yes, hello, this is Mr. GP. What can I do for you? Hello, GP. This is the Finnish police department. Thank you in your endeavors to resurrect Drunkman. Uh-huh. However, when you did so, a space-time portal opened up and unleashed Gee, a deadly virus what? amongst the Finnish population. Now we have a 200-foot-tall drunk guy wandering around Finland, stepping on children and stuff. If you could take care of that, we would be very grateful. Okay, now things are just starting to get obscene. This is ridiculous. Like, I, I, feel, I feel like I'm not getting paid enough for this. You realize I had to give up a giant case of money to make this stuff happen. And now I'm, I'm because, what am I, like a Norse Viking monster hunter? Of course, we're willing to pay you 1,000 slabs of thick meat. Oh. All right. Then, uh, you got a deal. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay. So, it looks like, uh, our skill set is being put to good use. Because now we have to hunt down the freakish spawn that have occurred ever since the ritual was completed. I knew it. I knew that doing this ritual would have more in store for us than just bringing a drunk guy back. All right. If we're gonna go hunting for a monster, we need the appropriate stuff. I had to grab the, uh, I had to grab the box of dynamite out from the garage over there. I always keep a box of dynamite in my garage because you never know when you're gonna need it. And I, I, it's as safe a place as any other. I mean, you know, yeah, there's some gasoline and some other potentially flammable materials in there, but I think we're gonna be. Alright, first things first. We need to, <laughs> alright, first things first, I need to stay on the freaking Jonas. We need to see what we're up against. Now we're still, ow. We're still dealing with, what the hell? Okay, stop. Stop. Right there. Okay, good. Our Jonas is still, uh, very, very souped up. So it's still got, like, 65 billion horsepower in it. There's your, uh, special ghostly delivery right there. Just a random motor moped with a freaking box of dynamite levitating in front of it. Totally normal in my summer car. This is what you'd expect to see. Alright, where's this unholy freaking nature at? Let's see here. They said it was somewhere by Tamos. I haven't seen anything yet. We, like, we can't miss this guy, right? He's like a 200-foot-tall Finnish dude with a handlebar mustache and like a floral pl print shirt. All right, I still haven't seen him. I think I know what we have to do, though. We need bait to draw this thing out. It's like hunting anything else, right? You can't just you can't just go out and get lucky. You need something to bring the thing over to you. And I think that I may be able to get the appropriate bait from Tamo. Hey, Tamo. What's up, buddy? Yep, stop counting. I need your help, man. What is it? What will it cost me for your biggest beer? Like the biggest one I could possibly get. I'm not talking like a half liter or something like that. I want something that's freakish. All right, so Tamo just said that he was able to special order one for us, like right now. So he said it's around back over here. Around back. Oh, mother of God. <laughs> that right there is, this is what we need. In order to catch this gigantic scumbag, we need beers. Fitting of such a a freakish individual. Can you drink this? Hold on. I want to know. Does it is it like a massive beer? Oh, it's a normal human-sized beer. When I drink it, that would have been great if it was like a thirty-foot-tall beer bottle. And even when I discard them, they're normal. But it does look pretty slick. Okay, this should work for our bait. Now we just have to wait to find that scumbag. All right, we tracked him down on the outskirts of town. <laughs> what happens if you What happens if you throw a dynamite stick at this thing? Like. Will he die from this, or because I really can't, like I have no idea what sort of unwieldy horrors are going to occur? Okay, I mean the 
Finnish police said it had to be done. Here we go. Let's see how he goes. Is it gonna work? To the moon! Oh. <laughs> that didn't help. That didn't work at all. Like, can we punch this guy out? Is it possible? Maybe we can run him over with a car. My summer car, the only game where you have to hunt giant mutated Finnish people. There he is! And crikey, it's a big one! I don't know if that's the correct, uh, the correct expletive for finding something like this. Alright, we're about to find out if you could take out a Finnish monster with a car. Here we go, baby. Get up a little bit of speed. Can I, can I get through all these trees and everything he's inside of? Did he just walk past the trees? Oh, crap. Alright, we got him. Alright, you Finnish freaking nature. Get wrecked! Get... Is it not working? Can we not hit him with the car? Is he too powerful? No! This is bad. The beast is too powerful to even be hit by the car. I probably should have thought about this sooner. What happens if you just punch him? Does it work? No. Alright, sun's starting to go down. Our monster hunting efforts we're met with failure. The only thing else I can think of to try for this is possibly using our gun again that the police gave back to us after we, uh, you know, we did we did good by them. So let me go grab a quick sleep and in the morning time, we'll check that out. All right, it's a brand new day. I'm just bathing in my pool with my gun out. All right, is that so unusual? John Wick would do it, right? Bathe with the gun, always in hand, prepared to shoot scumbags at any time. Now, once we get clean over here, I need to have a couple of beers for the morning time. Just because that's how I like to start my day. Wheaties and finished beer. And then we're going to have to head up over to Tamo's because I don't know if I have any bullets for this. I'm starting to really hate this car. Because, uh, first off, I think I broke the right door. But over here, I can't ever get this thing freaking started unless I hotwire it. No, officer, it belongs to me, really. I, there's actually a guy uh, that, I, uh, that I know in real life that had to start his car this way with a friggin' screwdriver, but he did own it. It wasn't, he wasn't like, uh, it wasn't stolen or anything. All right, open up the old gate. Of course, the door freaking came unbuttoned again or whatever you want to call it. We are a little bit thirsty, but I have no doubt that we'll come upon a wayward beer case on our way to slay the inhuman blight that has infected Finland. I feel like the Rusko's lost power over time. I think it was like too good originally. So topless gun, nerfed it or whatever you want to call it. It, it just feels slower and more sluggish. And what? All right. Well, it looks like the uh, it looks like the the inhuman plague has been contagified over here to Tamo. Uh, this is an issue because I don't know how to take this man out. Hey Tamo. So um I know that you're like <laughs> I know I can only talk to your sack but do you mind if I purchase some bullets from you? Oh, I actually can't get inside the store. His crotch is making it so I can't enter. Well, I guess I'll just drink some beers out here. All right, we've got a loaded, oh Jesus. We've got a loaded gun. I've got some extra bullets. And now we're on the hunt. We're on the hunt for the next Finnish beast. Gotta be around here somewhere. I can smell the sausage from here. I see something. Right <laughs> oh God, I see something right up ahead. Is that Status D's vehicle? Mother of Jesus. Somehow even cars can catch this dreaded Finnish mutant disease. Hold on, is it like stuck in a tree or? Well, of course the rain comes right now. It's like a horror game. Freaking giant 300 foot long car stuck in a tree. And now the rain decides to start pouring out. Wow. You don't see that too often. Is he alive or dead? Can I even shoot this thing? Hold on, let me see what happens when we gun this thing down. The super size. This is what happens when you eat too much McDonald's. All right, here we go. Oh, it does get deformed. Sort of. I don't know where Status D is though. You know that moment when uh, you see something and you realize that the world is probably hopelessly broken beyond all repair. When I watched the bus driver flying across the sky, going through the clouds, thanks to the size, the overwhelming size of the freaking bus, that's when I knew that this contagion was getting out of hand. All right, I'm gonna hang out here by uh, Tamo's beanbag, because we gotta figure out how we're gonna fix this. The monsters can't be killed with dynamite. It doesn't appear that the gun works. 
I'm not actually sure how to Oh, those eyes. Those are the those are the eyes of a dead fish looking at you in disdain and horror. Probably waiting for his 1500 marks to fix his window, but I can't do it because I can't get inside your freaking store because your wiener's in the way. I can just stare at it. That's actually all I can do. Your slightly plaid pants take up my entire field of vision. Hey anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hunter World Finish Edition. I don't even know at this point. I wonder if he can get struck by lightning. Like, that'd be great. He's the tallest object in this vicinity. So if he gets lit up, that would actually be pretty, pretty slick. If you want to make the YouTube machine happy, feel free to monster hunt the old like button. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. Oh, fake exit. Hold on. I was, holy crap, that was a really awesome lightning strike. I was just doing that because now it's time for a little, uh, Marvel, Marvel after credit scene. I just want to let you guys know, I don't know how long this episode's gonna be, but I am grievously sick right now. Horribly sick. It may not like totally sound like it. People that have been around for a while and know me probably can tell, but I feel like I'm gonna die. Like right now. I know that I'm talking normally, but I'm like vomiting every 20 seconds, and uh, that's kind of what happens. And I got like the chills and the flu or whatever else, and I think I got like food poisoning or something, I don't know. Anyway, it's not from the sausages. The sausages were delicious. It was probably from the beer, if I had to guess. But uh, anyway, that's all. Just letting you guys know. Just a little extra gem into the life of Grey all the way at the end. Anyway, until next time, stay foxy much love. For real.